How can you download maps for Minecraft? Well, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Now, first things first, well, you need to download a map, and you can do that here. This is our list of the best Minecraft maps. We have maps for all sorts of different versions in here, from the most recent versions all the way down to some older versions. We try to keep at least a few newer maps and a few really good older maps in here just so you can have a variety of what you want. And if you already do have a map downloaded, this will work without any issues for that map as well. But a lot of people are searching how to download a map. They don't have a map yet. What are the maps we're going to install here? We're going to get floating biomes, right like so. We're also going to go down here and get one of my favorite survival maps, which is just the single player Skyblock. As you can see, Skyblock Classic Edition. Click download. It will take you to the download page for that map. Now, there's probably two main sites you're going to be downloading maps from. One is CurseForge and the other is MC Maps or Minecraft Maps here. So, CurseForge, how you download a map is go to Files up here at the top in the menu bar, and then you want to find the version you want. I want the 1.20.1 version of this, so it's right here, but you may have an older version that you want to download, and that's here as well. Once you found the version, click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download File. When you do that, the download will begin after a few seconds. While we're waiting on this to download, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server, where you can easily add a map like the one we're getting in this video. Whether it's an adventure map, a parkour map, a survival map, you can add any map that you want to your Minecraft server at Simple Game Hosting and play it with your friends. On top of that, we have amazing live chat support to help you out. And if you want to add mods, mod packs, plugins, or even just host a vanilla server, you can do that at Simple Game Hosting as well. Truly, the options are endless, so go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH, to start your Minecraft server and play your Minecraft map with your friends. Nevertheless, our map is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the map depending on your browser. On Minecraft Maps, what we're going to do is scroll down and find the Download Map button here. Once we found it, we want to go ahead and click on it and it will download the map right like so. We can now minimize our browser and we want to move all of this to our desktop. Why is that? Because we need to prepare the files to be able to install them. They won't stay on your desktop forever, but for me, these are going to be found in the Downloads folder. However, wherever yours downloaded to, go ahead and move them from there to your desktop. Now, once these are on your desktop, we want to right click and click extract all on both. So as you can see, floating biomes is now extracting. That one is done and we can go ahead and do Skyblock Classic as well. Right click, extract all and click extract. This may take a few seconds depending on your hard drive speed and things like that. But as you can see, they are now both unzipped. We have both the dot zip or the zip folders here and the ones that are open. So if you hover over it and it says a compressed file, it can be deleted now. And that's what we want to do with both of these. When you hover, it should say just folders, right? Like similar to this here. It really shouldn't say any sort of file type. Now what we want to do is make sure these are set up correctly. They aren't. How do we do that? We'll go ahead and open it. And then once you open it, if you have a, just a folder, just one folder, open that folder until you see multiple folders. It might not be all of these. You might just have dim one, dim dash one in region. Who knows what your map will specifically have, but it will have at least one of these folders here, usually region and dim one, dim dash one, but not always, but usually you'll have those or at least an icon or a level file, something like this that we have, you will have in your map. Once you here, go ahead and click the back button in the top left and drag this to your desktop. Finally, we want to repeat this with our other map. Again, just click through. And Skyblock is interesting. As you can see, it doesn't have Dim1 or Region. It's only got data here. So keep that in mind. You might have just that. It really just depends on the map that you're getting. But go ahead and click the back button with this one and drag that to your desktop. Finally, we can install these maps. But I'd recommend deleting these from your desktop here that when you open them, they're empty. There's kind of dead folders. So go ahead and remove those. As soon as you open up your map, this is what you should see. And as long as that's the case, you're going to go ahead and install them. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to find the installation that you want to play the map with. In my case, this is going to be latest release, but this will work with modded installations as well. Click on the folder icon that appears and it will open up your Minecraft folder. In here, what you want to do is find your saves folder. Right here it is for me, and this is where all of your single player Minecraft saves are. Go ahead and drag and drop any of the maps that you want to install into this saves folder. And before you close out of it, make sure that when you open them, you see these files. If you don't, the map's not going to work. So you want to make sure that once it's in your saves folder, that as soon as you open up your install maps, this is what you see. It is for us, so we can go ahead and play Minecraft and the maps will be installed. So here we are in game. If we go ahead and click on single player, there they are. Skyblock, Classic Edition, and Floating Biomes. To play the map, just double click on it. And then when you do that, it might ask you this. Go ahead and say 
I know what I'm doing because if it doesn't work for whatever reason, you can always just re-download the world, right? You can just re-download a fresh copy, install it for the version that it's natively supporting, and you'll be good to go. Now, something worth noting about Skyblock here is it starts off and you have to select your difficulty, and you do that over here in chat. So I'm going to go ahead and select the large island, and then it teleports around and does a bunch of stuff. So one second. There we go. The Skyblock is now set up. We could begin playing it, and obviously, floating biomes works as well, just like the skyblock world did so if we join into floating biomes boom we can now go ahead and start parkouring if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy your brand new minecraft custom maps and we will see you in the next video